Man, uh, yesterday was a fun day of football. Um, first game that I checked out was the Dolphins and Bears. And that game, it just came down to it. Ooh, I fell for the Bears, though, because they got okey-doked at the end. Because uh, I don't remember which Dolphins defender it was, but it was a defensive pass interference on Chase Claypool at, close to the very end of the game. Uh, but it was a no-call. Um, so that was big. Then, uh, on the flip side, uh, the Bills and Jets game. Ooh, <laughs> shout out to Sauce, man. That guy is real deal. I mean, we saw it as Ravens fans that he was real deal, but he has continued to show like, hey, I was like that in college and I'm like that in the pros now too. Um, and then I started, I watched some of the Rams and, and Bucks game, um, but I turned it off because I'm like, uh, yeah, I ain't watching this. Then apparently Tom Brady and the Bucks, they came back. Uh, then I, I was watching the um, the Cardinals and Seahawks game for a little bit too. Then I ended up turning that one off as well. But I did watch that Titans and Chiefs game, and that was a good game, very interesting game. Um, it's crazy how the uh, the Titans they they kept it close, and Malik. Um, I think I think the whole game he didn't complete a pass to a wide receiver, like the whole game. Um, but one of his, well, not one of his former wide receivers, but Titans' former wide receiver, he was definitely having fun watching that game, A.J. Brown, with all the tweets that he was doing during the game and post-game and all that. But anyway, watching all that football yesterday, um, it was nice. It, it was nice to watch a game and be relaxed. It was nice to watch football and just be chill um, and, and just be calm without any stress but at the same time it did make me miss all the stress that we get when we watch the Ravens play because a lot of the teams that we saw yesterday we've seen those teams play twice since the Ravens last had a game um, and it seems like the Ravens and Bucks game was like ages ago it seems like it was just so long ago um, but now we finally get some Ravens football tonight and one of my biggest expectations uh, in this game tonight uh, is Isaiah Likely Isaiah Likely Because uh, with Isaiah Likely Last week um, Going into the uh, Bucks game It was a completely different mindset For him uh, For Lamar Jackson And for Greg Roman What I mean when I say that Last week Mark Andrews Been dealing with an injury um, And last week he didn't practice Like at all um, So with Mark Andrews not practicing He was still questionable Leading up to the game uh, and he ended up obviously playing in the first quarter. I forget if he played in the second quarter or not, but he didn't finish the game. But he started the game. And he was involved early, like from jump. Lamar, uh, he was hitting Mark Andrews uh, on that first drive from the very beginning of the game. Um, but leading up to the game, it was expected that Mark Andrews would be the starter. So in Mark Andrews' head, in Isaiah Likely's head, in Lamar Jackson's head, in, in Greg Roman's head, Mark Andrews was the starter. But now this week, I think this week is different. Because while Mark Andrews didn't practice all of this week, um, it was different because he was listed as doubtful. So he was not expected to play in this game. And then officially yesterday, uh, since he didn't even travel with the team to New Orleans, uh, then he obviously not playing. So he was officially ruled out. So, the mindset of Isaiah Likely, uh, of Greg Roman, of Lamar Jackson, it's a completely different mindset going into this game because they know and they've known that Isaiah Likely is going to be the starter. And last week, he had uh, his, his breakout game uh, of this season. Um, and it was, it's a young season. It's only a little about halfway in. Um, or actually halfway in, well, I guess technically halfway in will be uh, at halftime of this game, but y'all get what I'm saying. We're right in the middle of the season. Um, but Isaiah Likely, last week, he, he broke out, uh, and he broke out as the backup. So that's why my expectations for him in this game uh, are a lot higher than they were before. Um, because when you know that you're going to be the guy, you know that you're, you're going to be the starter. You know that your number is going to be called. It's not an, oh, maybe, maybe I'll get some play time. Maybe I'll get some snaps. No, no, no. You will get snaps. Then that just, that, that changes everything. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how he does tonight. I know Lamar is going to give him some opportunities. And, and again, last week we just saw it get better. 
uh, it started off a little shaky. It really did because I remember there was a pass early on where I think the Bucks were in zone defense and Isaiah likely he was running across the field and Lamar threw to him, but I think he expected Isaiah likely to stop. Isaiah likely kept going. It was just a miscommunication. So I, I'm I'm glad that that wasn't the end all be all for Isaiah likely last week. Um, but now they they can build off of what they did last week and just continue to get even better. Uh, and that chemistry can continue to build and get even stronger. Now, um, I was talking to my guy, Kevin, uh, a little bit ago, and he brought up a, a, a really good point. He said he was rewatching the Bucks game, and he said when Mark Andrews went out and Rashad Bateman went out, that the Bucks they just they didn't know who to focus on. They, they didn't know who to try to take out the game. And, and I mean, that is uh, something that is of significance because we obviously know with Mark Andrews in the game, you know Lamar going to give him his opportunities for sure. Um, and with Rashad Bateman in the game, he going to get his opportunities too. But now with those two out, especially Mark Andrews, it's like, oh, well, who who's the primary target? Who's the focus? Who Who's the guy that... Lamar Jackson is going to be getting the ball, too. And even um, what, what makes it even trickier is with Demarcus Robinson. Because he, even if he does play, he may not be 100%. And he may be on a limited snap count. He may still be dealing with the groin injury. We'll see. Hopefully, he'll be good to go. Hopefully, he'll be a full go. But that's something to monitor, too. So this this really, and I know a lot of y'all have brought up how um, with Bateman and Andrews out, it's like it's a gift and a curse. I mean, it's, it's really not a gift. It's never a gift when your best uh, playmakers are out. It's never a gift. Um, but it does force the Ravens to open this thing up that much more. Uh, it, it, it opens up the field. Uh, that much, well, it forces them to open up the field that much more. So guys are really gonna have to step up big time. Um, so whether De Devin Duvernay, obviously we've been talking about it all leading up to this game, how we just want the Ravens to consistently use Devin Duvernay. Like don't do like you did from the Bengals to the Giants game. Well, Bengals game you use them like crazy. Then Giants game it was crickets. So this is important that they use him a lot in this game. And I, I, I do not expect him to be a kick and punt returner in this game. I don't. Um, because he, I, I would expect and hope that he is relied upon on offense a lot tonight. Um, but it's got to be somebody else. It's got to be more than Duvernay. So Duvernay likely. Um, but somebody else got to bring it too. So whether it's Demarcus Robinson, Deshaun Jackson who uh, we all expect to make his uh, in-season debut for the Ravens this week. Um, anybody know what happened to Andy Isabella? I done talked to a lot of people, and it's, it's, it's the same conversation amongst all of us. What happened to Andy Isabella? Like, what what was that whole thing about? It's like they, they signed him, and I ain't heard a peep ever since they signed Like, I, I heard more about Andy Isabella um, when there was that little mini not even controversy, but that many confusion or whatnot if he was going to sign or not. Because first it was expected that the Ravens were going to sign him. Then he hadn't signed yet. Then we hadn't heard nothing. But then he was on vacation with his girl, I think. And then he signed with the Ravens officially. Then we ne never heard from him again. Never heard anything from him again. Um, so will this be a game where he's activated too? Depending on Demarcus Robinson, we'll see. Will Benjamin Victor? Will Benjamin Victor actually be activated uh, for this game to give the Ravens some more size at the receiver position. Because Ravens got some speed now. They got plenty of speed at the receiver position, but they ain't really got size. All their receivers are pretty short. Um, so we'll see, man. Um, but as far as uh the defenses, they it's they, they won't really know who to focus on. Because none of the guys that are out there are really the uh the primary targets for Lamar Jackson in this Ravens offense. So it's very important that starting from the top down, that Ravens take advantage of that. They have to. So with Greg Roman, with the play calling, 
take advantage of it. And, like, really keep the New Orleans Saints defense on their toes. They have to. Right? Ravens, oh, they got a, a big opportunity here. This is a big game. Lamar Jackson, same thing. Take advantage of it. Keep that Saints defense on their toes. Um, I think it's very important also tonight uh, at running back because um, I, I don't expect Gus Edwards to play. I don't think he'll play because uh, get with the hamstring. Hamstrings can be very tricky. Um, but I, I don't expect him to play. I think they they should, probably should rest him anyway, uh, just so he'll be in better shape for the long run. If he can go, cool, great. But if he ain't one hundred percent, even if he ain't even eighty five percent, don't even do it. I don't think. Um, but it's it's important with the run game. Go with the hot hand. Go with the hot hand. And the Ravens, they've been doing a, a, a better job of doing that this year. Um, so that's that's been a big improvement because it is because with the Ravens again it's it's been a lot of little small things that a lot of us feel me in particular that I feel um, small things that they can fix here and there to make big uh, leaps and bounds forward. Um, so we'll see how they do tonight. But yeah, man, to, it, it should be a good one. I know it's a lot of Ravens fans out there in New Orleans. It's a whole lot, man. Uh, so I know they, they've been partying all weekend, but now hopefully tonight uh, they can have the real party and, and be having a, a celebratory party uh, once that clock hits double zeros in the fourth quarter. This should be a um, a good game. Um, it should be a uh, nice stressful one. I, I mean, I'm hoping that it's not. I, will, I would love to see a blowout. I don't expect to see a blowout, but I would love to see one. Um but we'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I know Saints. Saints gonna bring it. Of course, Andy Dalton. He he is going to try to bring it. Uh, we talked about it before. Geno Stone. Big game for Geno Stone tonight, man. Uh, if I had to choose two people um, that could have a, a huge impact on this game tonight, um, one on offense, one on defense, and and if I had to exclude Lamar Jackson, obviously. Yeah, I would say Isaiah Likely and Geno Stone, man. Likely and Stone. Um, because their number, I think their numbers are going to be called upon that much more. Um, so, yeah, Jarvis Landry going to be playing. Chris Olave, uh, Michael Thomas, he's out for the season. Um, but Kamara, Kamara, oof, boy, yeah. Ray Ravens got a tough task in front of them tonight. But it is something that, they can get over like and and yeah i know that the strength of schedule tweets have been coming out for a while those updates like oh ravens for weeks now they was oh ravens don't play a, a team with a winning record for the rest of the year and, da, 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 da. and i mean yeah that's technically true these teams do play a lot harder than their record indicates um so they're not all bad they just uh, again some ain't been able to finish that much um but yeah ravens it's important that they take advantage man you take advantage. You played uh, all the the tougher teams, so to speak, even though the schedule is still going to be tough down the stretch. It's still going to be tough. Um, but you played some of the, the best teams early on uh, this year as far as the Dolphins, um, as far as the Bills. Um, you played them early on, and you won some. You lost some. Uh, oh, the Giants. Wow, I guess against those like real, real, real winning teams, Ravens. Well, the Jets too. Well, they they played the Flacco Jets, um, not the uh, well Flacco won a game though. But anyway, um, Ravens. Wow, against teams with winning records, are the Ravens one in three? I think the Bengals. What are the Bengals? What are the Bengals record right now, man? Let me, let me look at the what's what's the Bengals record? Cause um, oof, that's uh. It's not really concerning right now. Um, okay, Bengals are over five hundred too. They five and four, so I know they they rooting heavy for the Saints tonight. Um, but Ravens will still be in first in the division, I believe. Uh, but hopefully, Ravens don't even make us go through all the confusion. They just win tonight, so we ain't even gotta have that conversation. But yeah, man, Ravens they uh they show like they they can hang with anybody. They can hang with anybody, but what we don't want to see tonight 
is the self-inflicted wounds. I mean, we don't want to see New Orleans get Ravens with any wounds either, but we especially don't want to see the self-inflicted wounds. That has been, in my opinion, one of Ravens' biggest issues this season. The self-inflicted stuff, just hurting themselves, the the penalties, the just the the silly stuff. Last week, they seemed to really eliminate a lot of that, uh, especially in the second half. Let's just hope it continues. Team, keep it clean. I will see you all for the stream later tonight. Y'all make sure y'all come through. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And we out.